Okay, guys, so we're back here on the single leg. Now, very similar to how we set up that 10 finger guillotine where we were, we were ice cream scoopering up into the, into the trachea, we're gonna, we're gonna have a similar setup to kind of getting his head to the outside. And we can, even, we can even stop at that 10 finger guillotine if we wanted to. But realistically, I wanna bring his head to the outside. So <laughs> a lot of times I like to start with a push here, okay? As he's working his head back in, then I start to collect, okay? I start to collect this chin strap and I start to pop myself over this, okay? For the purpose of this high elbow guillotine that we're gonna do right now, I wanna get his head all the way to the outside, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop all the way around till I can get it to here. Okay, so I have a chin strap. <clears throat> I have his head trending to the outside hip. Okay, and now for this high elbow guillotine, just like just like Marcelo likes to do it, the grip that I want to get is a ball and socket grip. Okay, so my, my free hand is going to come through and, and loop my fingers right into his uh, the meat of my hand here, and then I want to close it off. I'll show these guys real quick, Jesse. So <clears throat> here's my choking hand. <clears throat> here's my my high elbow hand. Okay. This one's coming fingers on, on the inside of the palm and uh, just as Marcelo, so that you cannot grab the fingers here, you're gonna close that off like this, okay? And then the goal from here is to, is to have a little bit of shoulder mobility, okay? And get that shoulder or uh, your elbow up over top of their shoulder, which I didn't warm up today, so we'll see. We'll see how my shoulder mobility is. So <clears throat> here, we're gonna work to pass this outside, boom, okay? And, and you can find a lot of success in this, okay? <clears throat> Are you gonna submit them all the time? Probably not, we'll go over that soon. But my goal here is to start stomping this one down as I start bringing this elbow. Realistically, I need that leverage of my form reaching over top of this, okay? Because as soon as Jesse's hand, for instance, like his left hand comes out and beats my, my elbow, um, so beats my elbow in this direction, up around my neck here. I no longer have the, the, the type of uh, leverage that I need for this. So <clears throat> I'm going to bring this up high, right? And a lot of times as I bring this up high, this foot stomps. So I go like this, boom. Okay, this instantly puts a lot of <clears throat> pressure onto uh, Jesse's trachea. A lot of times I don't love jumping guard here, okay? Some of you guys might like jumping guard here. If you wanted to jump guard, it would look from this side first. For me, I find that there's a lot in the way for me to get my feet to his hips right here. And I'd almost rather keep a good cinch and run this guy down, okay? So <clears throat> the way that this happens, guys, is very similar to any type of guillotine where <clears throat> I'm bringing this elbow high, I'm dropping this lat. I need to bring my hips into Jesse's hips, okay? Any guillotines, it's all about making a hip connection or getting your hips closer to their hips. So <clears throat> here, this elbow's dropping and my hips are coming in. A lot of times what it's gonna force Jesse to do is to roll to his side on his back over there, okay? So I get Jesse in this position, I get the high elbow, I stomp down, okay? And I'm just gonna keep staying tight as we roll to a position just about right here, okay? If you really, if you're committed to finishing this high elbow, what I would do, is I would plant my forehead to the mat right here, bring my hips into a tripod position, and then start walking over as close to a mount as you can. So I would go here, bring my head to the mat, and start walking over. A lot of times you finish before you even sit into a mount there. Okay. <clears throat> That's with the high elbow. You know, a lot of things can happen from that position. Okay, but if we wanna just make that high elbow finish from right there, it's all about tripoding. So here, follow, 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 forehead plants, hips go high, right? And I just keep pressure on the back of Jesse's head as I kind of start sinking my hips in a little bit low right there. I have to keep Jesse pinned, but not, I don't want him necessarily flat. I want him just on his side right there, okay? One more time. We're here, pass this outside. I flip into this high elbow and kick my foot down. Okay, my elbows are trending in opposite, well, actually it's the same direction like this. My hips come in, okay? It's putting a lot of pressure on, on Jesse's trachea. <clears throat> now, what I wanna do is I wanna keep Jesse <clears throat> on this shoulder blade, okay? Once Jesse goes to the other shoulder blade, you're gonna notice that I lose my high elbow. Okay, so if I'm here, here, 
Okay, and he goes all the way here. I can lose my high elbow. I can get a little out of position. I'd like to keep Jesse pinned right here. Keep my hips high, plant my forehead to the mat. So I'm in a position like this. This is where we can finish this high elbow from.